YouTubers, and watching channel beer review with me here, the master of puppets. Today, joined by Mess the Duke of Delirium and this douchebag Jakob <laughs> or Maltz. Yes, today we're going to be looking at, at a beer that Jakob actually brought, uh, and this is from Birra del Borgo. This is the Birra del Borgo Hoppy Can Cascadian Dark Ale. Uh, it's a bi IPA on 5.8% alcohol from Black Pale Ale, Cascadian Dark Ale, Indian Black Ale, Whatever. all those stupid names. Kind of a cool label. I didn't notice that the o uh, A on Ket was a fish. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and there's a cat, like, hanging on the line. Yeah. This should be interesting to see how this hoppy Black IPA, and shout out to Giovanni on our Facebook friends. He's, he's, he's really into Italian beer, so shout out to you, man. Let's get this one cranked. So we got the hobby cat board from Gerda Borrow. Well, it's not that black. No, <laughs> more brown. Yeah, brown eyed beer. Yeah, brown eyed beer. <laughs> uh, usually, yeah, or Cascadian dark ales. But it's, I guess it's the lightest color I've seen on a yeah. on a black IPA. Murky I, I, brown. I, yeah, murky brown. I guess I'd call it uh, kind of like a dark red as well. Like it's still, red. it's still a dark ale. Yeah, I guess. Though. Um, but um, yeah, the bottle gushed on us, so we're gonna have some yeast or something. Yeah, nice. Little thick beige. Yet. Let's check out the aroma. Hmm. Not like super in your face. No, no it smells like generic pellet off almost. Yeah, but it still smells really little refreshing. Yeah, I'm. I'm. Uh, it's it's not not spicy. Caramel, yeah. yeah, it's not a lot of caramel. A little bit of spice maybe as well. But it has a citrus. Yeah, citrus touch to it. Too. And a little bit of strawberry. Yeah. Mm. Almost. Yeah. Like, a, like a weird strawberry note. And then. Definitely resinous. It's got a lot of resin notes yeah. and earthy notes. Almost, yeah. it's like East Coast hoppy yeah. beer. Definitely, it's not the intense, juicy, fruity. Now I just can't get that strawberry out of my head. Nope. Like a nice. It's toasty, caramelly, nutty, nut roasty per no. se. I'd say. And the nut, it's kind of like hazelnut or. Uh, you know. Yeah. Mm. But definitely earthy. I don't know if it's got the, all the oniony gar garlicky flavors as some people say, but I definitely say earthy, resiny, and then the grapefruit. And all that. <clears throat> it smells pretty good, but definitely like more of an East Coast tradition. I can definitely smell the uh, CO2. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give it a taste. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my god, more wine. <laughs> yeah, that's. It's it's not as refreshing as other black IPAs. Much like the aroma. I think. Yeah, it's got more of a roasty chocolate flavor. Mm. But man, this is definitely East Coast <laughs> resin, earthy, piney. Nice subtle, subtle bitterness in the yeah. yeah, in yeah. the aftertaste, kind of yeah. the bitterness comes in, yeah. in the last, but very earthy. And I mean, when I drink hoppy beers, I really prefer them to be West Coast or Midwest, like the juicy tropical. Again, this is more like earthy, maybe slightly garlicky this one, but earthy, resiny, piney, I mean, walking into a pine forest. Solid bitterness, not intense, and then you get a caramel toffee note, slight hint of coffee, and slight hint of toasty, roasty roast. Roasted notes, yeah. 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 And, and it comes to the aftertaste, it's more roasted than the aroma in it. It's really like a brown, toasted beer, and yeah. not yeah. a black, black uh, roasty beer. Yeah, because like black IPAs are usually like, Super hoppy like the IPAs, but you get the color from the stout. Yeah. Uh, but this one feels more like stouty, hoppy, or what did you call it? Brown, black yeah. ale, brown ale. So it tastes brown in a way. Yeah. yeah. But then again, people redefine black IPA and Canadian dark ale differently. It's so stupid. But nonetheless, it's a good beer. I mean, if you like the East Coast style hoppy beers, you'll like this. With a little twist. twist. On. Yeah. With the kind of caramel toffee stuff. Mm. But a little spicy rice, but yeah, yeah, a little bit of kind of spicy notes, or just a spicy hop character. Yeah, but I know they use some American hops in here. Maybe I, I could I just imagine a nugget for some reason, because it's got like earthy kind of thing. Yeah. I'm not sure, but um, good stuff. Not the best beer I've had from Beer Del Borgo, I'd say. No, but uh, rating wise for me, I'm gonna go 83. I think it's it's quite nice. Yeah, but it's just I prefer the juicy West Coast hops compared to the East Coast ones. So. Yeah, I'm gonna go a little higher and go 84. I do enjoy this, I do really like it, but it's nothing that blows my mind. Um, yeah. It's, but, well, too brown. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's really tasty, um, so I'd say something in the 80s to, I don't know, 80. I was actually thinking 83 at first, but. 
Oh, well. Something in the start 80s. Yeah. Definitely worth picking up, guys, if you like it. Uh, so, let us know what you think of the Beer del Borgo Hoppy Cat Cascadian Dark Ale, if you've had it. As always, guys, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter, and now also Tumblr. And I sound like a guy from the commercial. And we're gonna say cheers. <laughs> we're gonna see you guys in another beer review.